Hey guys, I'm Rachel O'Leary and for today's bonus video I'm going to answer the questions from the Aquarium Tuber Tag Challenge. Now I know quite a few of you have nominated me and I'm not entirely sure which one I'm responding to, so take your pick. The first question is how did you get into fish keeping? And the reality is we had an aquarium all growing up. We had a 55 gallon that was in our living room. My dad had made a DIY stand you know, and we used to go to the fish store and he'd let each of us pick out fish. And I remember there being live bears breeding and plecos breeding and all sorts of fish just always doing really well. And it was always super fun to watch, but it certainly wasn't a primary focus of mine. I grew up on a really big farm and my interest was in the horses. Um, I moved away to college when I was 17 and didn't keep any fish for that entire time met my husband shortly after graduating college and we quickly started their family. I had my two daughters within a year of each other and left the workforce in order to raise them. And when that happened, I got my first aquarium for Mother's Day. And I, you know, I don't know if it's just how my brain works or what, but I'm never content just um, doing things a little bit. So I got myself some little dwarf frogs and some mystery snails and got really really interested in line breeding the mystery snails to make the recessive colors that were not available available and that just snowballed into me becoming really really interested in small fish small invertebrates and the planted tank side of the hobby you know I, I never really intended um, to be any sort of authority. I never really intended to have a fish room. I never intended to write a book or articles or any of those things. It's all just sort of grown from a really curious mind. What is my favorite fish? Now if you guys watched my video with Joey on his channel, I think last week you'll know what my favorite fish is already. Even though I say every fish I spotlight is my favorite fish. My absolute favorite fish are Polypterus and Lacara and Lacara, the saddled biker. And that's just because I think they're really unique. They're, the history behind them is really cool. They've been around since the Triassic period. I find them to be graceful giants. Um, and all in all, just super rewarding fish to keep. And, you know, they're very long lived, very interactive, and all around interesting. What is your least favorite fish? I really don't like that question because I love fish so much. Um, I guess I'd have to say live bearers as a generic statement, even though there's lots of live bearers I really like and lots of rare ones that I find really cool. And that's just because they tend to not do well in my water, so they're the most frustrating fish I keep. What filter do I use? I use a central pump for my fish room. I use one 80 watt pump that fuels the entire fish room and that's an Alita AL80 that I bought from Gemco. Um, it's been running for about hmm, eight years now and I've never had an issue. It's pretty quiet as far as big pumps go. And I use that to drive air into all of my aquariums where I use porette foam, either matten filters or block filters. And then on my big tanks, I use the giant fluval filters. What lighting do I use? Whatever I can get for cheap. Uh, lighting as many tanks as I do means sometimes I have to get creative. And I've used shop lights, I've used clip lamps, I've used LEDs. Um, if it were up to me, I would do the entire fish room in some decent LED lighting, simply for energy consumption, but the lighting I like to use is high output T5 based on the results I've had from it. I have some exciting things coming up with lighting for the new year, so make sure you uh, stay tuned to see what products I show you. Favorite type of tank setup? That's easy, planted. Now there's lots of different kind of planted tanks. My favorite are the low light, low tech, easy to maintain, lush planted aquarium. The easier, the better, the simpler, the better. Just, I think my absolute favorite. What is my dream tank? Well, I have a lot of dream tanks and actually my 150 gallon 
Asian Hillstream was one of my dream tanks and I made it a reality. Um, I guess that my pipe dream tank is I would really love to build a 600 to 1000 gallon aquarium down here in the fish room uh, in order to house my big guys and then add a lot more endlies and some other interesting large primitive fishes. What food do I use? A whole bunch of them. I culture foods, I use frozen foods, I use some dried foods, mainly pellets. Uh, recently I've been using a lot of Sarah, but again, you guys have seen me talk about this, anything with good quality ingredients. What is my dream fish? I don't have a dream fish. Um, you know, that's, that's a tough one because I, I keep a lot of the fish that I'm really passionate about. So instead of my dream fish, I'll tell you what my fish dream is. And you guys have heard me talk about this a little bit. I really, really, really want to put in a dedicated fish house. And this would be a stick-built house only for my fish and my fish friends, basically. I would have a warm room for my tropical species, a cool room for my hill stream species, and then a uh, main display area for everything that's done quarantine. And then that way, when you guys come to visit me and come to buy fish, I could have set hours. I can have uh, space outside of my home for people to come into and, and buy fish and look at fish and learn about fish. And in that building also, I'm being pretty ambitious here, but I would love to be able to host clubs or small groups of people for educational lectures and things like that. So that's really my fish dream, and I'm working towards it, but it's going to take a while. And then tag three people. Uh, this was really hard for me because with how busy I am, I don't really have a whole lot of time to sit and search around YouTube. So most of what I know are the ones that everyone knows. But I have a few friends uh, that I'd like to ask to participate in this tag challenge. One is my friend Vito. If you guys remember the stand my husband just made me, that beautiful glass bowl that's on top of it, Vito made that for me, and he has a YouTube channel too. You guys may have seen the video when he came to visit me. He's in my local fish club. He's a great guy, super enthusiastic, and I'd like to hear his answers to these questions. The next is a guy I haven't talked to in a while. His aquarium channel is Pure Four Kicks, and I call him Bubbles. I met him at one of the ACAs, and he's just a super passionate fish dude. And he hasn't been super active on YouTube lately, but maybe we can encourage him to get back into it. And then the last one is my friend Joe, who's from New York City. And Joe's been a customer of mine for a really long time, and he does some beautiful plant of the aquariums. All around a cool dude, and uh, he's my only friend that is also into the one sport I follow, which is professional surfing. So I'd like to hear more about his interest in the aquarium hobby. And I'll put links to all of their channels below. So those are my answers to those questions. Hopefully it didn't bore you to tears. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Stop by my Instagram and my business Facebook as well as my website MsJinx.com where you can find my upcoming speaking engagements, my current stock list, and information on all things nano.